I'm Janet McDonald. I carry out forest health surveillance for the Department of Agriculture, Horticulture and Forestry Research Group. The purpose of forest health surveys for landowners is to assess the health of plantation and native forest trees, detect emerging pests and diseases, put control measures in place and to report any new pests and diseases to DAF. If you've established monitoring plots in your forest and are carrying out regular inventories, monitoring forest health will provide an understanding of the factors influencing growth rates. Some health issues are biotic, such as insects, fungal disease, bacteria and nematodes. Other problems are abiotic, and these are drought stress, waterlogging or nutritional disorders. And yet other health problems can be human induced, such as mechanical damage or herbicide drift. So you need to know when to look, where to look and what to look for. For example, insects are often more active over the warmer months and myrtle rust is best seen between autumn to early spring in the cooler months. There are certain symptoms to look for that'll indicate what kind of issues the forest might be experiencing. To find these clues, start by examining the various parts of the tree. So on the foliage of a tree, the symptoms of insect damage include blister, chewing, scale, etching or galls. Symptoms of diseases on leaves can be ne necrosis, which is dead or dying leaf tissue, tip distortion or wilt. On the branches and main stem of a tree, you might find some symptoms of chewing insects or borers such as holes or frass. Frass is chewed wood particles in insect excreta and this looks like sawdust. It can be found around the holes or on the ground at the base of the tree. Also on the woody parts of a tree, you can find symptoms of disease such as cankers. There can be one or many on a single tree and these can range in size from as small as a fingernail to a large wound on a stem. They appear on the bark as necrotic lesions and spread inwards affecting the timber underneath. Fruiting bodies are also symptoms of disease. They're the reproductive parts of a fungal pathogen. They indicate that there is advanced disease within the stem or tree roots. Some examples of fruiting bodies are mushrooms and fungal brackets. Often tree health problems are occurring underground, but the symptoms appear above ground. For example, foliage chlorosis or branch dieback. If you can't find the causal agent above ground, then you'll need to look at the tree butt and the tree roots, where you may find tunnelling, decay, fruiting bodies, chewing insects or disease. Chlorosis, which is yellowing leaves, resin bleeding and branch dieback are symptoms that are not specific to a particular agent and can have multiple causes. They're good indicators that there is a health issue and require a closer look. If you suspect you have a forest pest or disease problem, and you have some idea of what it is, you can find further information in the pest and disease fact sheets on the Queensland Government website. If you need further assistance with identification, send an email to forest.protection at daf.qld.gov.au with photos of the damage and causal agent if possible, location, host, description of damage and your contact details. By being vigilant and reporting anything unusual in your native forest or plantations, we can help to keep Queensland's forests healthy for future generations.